Welcome to another video. So, I recently covered the Claude Dev upgrades about a week ago, but as soon as I posted that video, there were even more new upgrades to Claude Dev. So, I thought I'd wait a bit after that video and cover the additional upgrades all at once. So today, we'll do just that. We'll be talking about the new upgrades to Claude Dev, which are actually very cool. If we look at the GitHub releases section, you'll see only one update after the last video. But there are actually some minor releases after this, available in VS Code, though they're not showing here. Anyway, let's talk about this release, and then move on to the others. This release is super cool. It adds support for Claude Dev to use a browser, plus a tool that captures screenshots and console logs from websites. This makes it easier for Claude to troubleshoot runtime or visual issues on its own. Basically, Claude Dev can now control an entire Chromium browser, fetch console log errors, and take screenshots of web pages to generate better code and fix issues independently, which is really awesome. You can see it in this screenshot. Pretty cool, right? We'll check it out as well. Apart from this, the release also improves automatic linter compiler debugging by only sending Claude new errors resulting from its edits, rather than reporting all workspace problems. This is great because many times, when using Claude Dev in existing projects, it starts fixing older linting errors that aren't relevant. So, this is a nice update too. There are also some updates not mentioned here, but they're listed in the VS Code change log. Let me show you those. The first update after those changes added support for the new Google Gemini 1.5 Flash 2 and Pro 2 models, which is great to see. I love using Claude Dev with Gemini a lot because it's super cool and free. So, that's a good update. Additionally, this update also revised the system prompt to be more lenient when terminal output doesn't stream back properly, which is helpful since sometimes the terminal output goes wild and Claude Dev starts acting up. This release also adjusted the system prompt to prevent overuse of the inspect site tool, which is another good change. It increased global line height for improved readability. And the latest update ensures that Claude Dev only auto includes error diagnostics after file edits, removing warnings to avoid distractions in projects with strict linting rules. This is great because Claude will now only add errors to its context after files are edited and it won't add warnings to its context, which helps in projects with strict linting. These are the major updates. Anyway, let's try them out. First, make sure you have installed Claude Dev and upgraded it as well. Once you've done that, we can use the new updates. Let's get started. First, to see the new updates, let's ask it to generate a simple to-do app. Let's send it over here and see. It's doing that now. Let's wait a bit. And it's done. So, you can see that it has created the to-do app. If we run it, you'll see that it works well. But we aren't seeing the new inspect site tool here, so let's ask it to check this app's console log errors and tell us if it's fit to be deployed. Let's send that over and see. Okay, it's doing the API request. If we wait a bit, you'll see it now asks us to inspect the site. Let's approve it, and you can see it inspecting the site and taking a screenshot of the page it opens. 
it's checking for errors. And as you can see, it says everything's fine and it can be deployed to production. So this is a really useful feature. But let's also test if it works in real production cases. So here's the to-do app that was generated. Now I'm going to introduce a simple bug. Let's save it. Now, if we run it in the browser and check the console log, you'll see the error. So now, let's go over to Claude and send a prompt saying that we've updated some code and it's causing an issue printed in the console log. Let's send it and see if it can fix the issue. Let's wait. And it's working on it. And it's done. It seems like it has fixed it. Let's check. And as you can see, the error is gone and everything is working fine. This is a great tool for Claude to take screenshots and fetch errors, especially for issues that don't appear in linting checks. It's definitely a great feature. In addition to this, the Gemini 1.5 Pro and Flash 2 models have been added. So, Let's go over here and select the Gemini option. Now, you can see the Gemini 1.5 Flash 2 and Pro 2 models here. Pretty cool, right? Let's choose Gemini Flash 2 and try it out since it's free with a great rate limit. Now, let's ask it to create a simple Minesweeper game. Let's send that over and see. Okay, it's doing that now. Let's wait. And it's done. Let's run it and see. Okay, this works really well. So, this is definitely a great way to use it. The new Gemini models are fast and efficient, which makes ClaudeDev even better. I use Gemini a lot with ClaudeDev for simple tasks, and it's been great. You can use the Gemini 1.5 Pro model with the free tier too, though I wouldn't recommend it as much. Also, I have recently uploaded the one hour long version of the wallpaper mobile app that I created using ClaudeDev and Expo for my members. So consider taking up a membership and watch that video along with multiple other ones. It starts from just $5 and it also supports the channel. Anyway, these are the major new upgrades. There are also some quality of life updates that you might not notice immediately but will definitely help over time in different scenarios, like the better system prompts and stuff like that. One thing that I want to see here is the ability to make ClaudeDev much more controllable. Like, it tries to do everything automatically, which is really good. But there should be toggle that should allow it to only generate code once instead of recursively going back and forth for people who just want to use it like they use Ader. 
Anyway, Claude Dev was already great, and now it's even cooler. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.